They shine with joy, they glow with grief, their light falls over all. Twinkle, twinkle, sparkle, sparkle. Do you think it's possible Stargazer is reading the star's garking frequencies? The fact that a passive medium is even speaking is beyond extraordinary. If anything, I'd say that's a message in and of itself. Will you act with rage or with compassion? Tell me, stars, which path will you choose to take? Similar abnormalities in the stargazer's behavior were observed by the Astronomics Lab five years ago, just before the disappearance of the South American gate. Thank you. Clearly, the situation is becoming critical. The explosions this morning didn't help things. All the intel agencies are on edge. We can't deny that current events are taking on a familiar shape. If this plays out as it did five years ago, we'll be faced with another South America. Attention, this is a civil defense alert. The, the Metropolitan Authority has issued the following emergency directive. Effective immediately, all citizens are requested to clear the streets and remain in their homes until further notice is given. These measures are being taken in response to the multiple terrorist attacks earlier today and to ensure the safety and welfare of the general populace. You're so cute when you're asleep. I thought maybe Yin would be able to track Amber, but I couldn't get in touch with her. And when I went to the safe house to check on her... What is it? Amber! Hey! Up in. The meter's running. The Stargazer did what? Hey, keep it down. This is highly classified information. I thought you might want to know, but you didn't hear it from me, okay? Oh, I'm also going to send you a list of stars that vibrated when those buildings exploded today. Do you think contractors were involved? Because I can't believe it's just a turf war between a bunch of spies. That's the story that's leaked out from above. They're all trained to keep to the shadows. I can't believe they'd make such an obvious move. Contractors. Why would Amber take you in? You got any ideas? I mean, you know her better than anyone. She was on your team in South America before she left the Syndicate. We need to know what happened between you and her. Turn around. What is it? You're going the wrong way. What is it? Do you need something from me? November. He said to go to you if anything happened to him. And did something happen to him? He didn't come back. Where'd he go? Do you know where he is now? Of course I do. I'm careful to keep track of all my friends. Show me. Let's go. Wait. Your friends? It's a pleasure to meet you. Isn't it a lovely morning? It's good of you to invite me. Is this chair taken? Thank you. <laughs> Don't be in such a rush. Sip it slowly. That would be pointless. Drinking it hot is part of my price. I'm sorry to interrupt you lads. But I wonder if you could see your way clear to getting me a cigarette. There's a pack in my left jacket pocket. Nothing personal, but I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. You're one of the most skilled contractors I've ever seen. In a split second, you were able to shield yourself from that explosion. I appreciate the compliment, but honestly, I'd really rather have a cigarette. Maybe you're not aware of it. But clinical studies have proven that secondhand smoke is far more dangerous to the people around you than to the smoker. For instance, have you ever heard of dimethyl nitrosamine? Firsthand smoke is between 5.3 and 43 nanograms, but in secondhand smoke, it's between I'm 600. familiar with the statistics. Do you know what happens to a contractor who doesn't make his payment? You hear all the stories, and I've always wanted to find out. Do you think it's true you'd melt like butter? Just joking. There's a vending machine not too far down the street. 
Nice to meet you. Good day. I must say, you're a very diligent young man. Taking time out to study etiquette in between blowing up buildings, I mean. It feels like something I once knew and then forgot. Amber is giving me lessons. At first, it didn't mean anything to me at all. Just empty sounds. Part of an empty ritual the humans play at. But Amber said I was wrong. So I practice like this every single day. Because Amber told me to. I would do anything for Amber. Anything at all. I'd destroy this city and everyone in it, if she asked. <laughs> You're gonna sit still and behave yourself for the time being. Those orders are right from the top. I've been instructed to keep you and Amber away from each other for a while. To hell with your orders! Let him go, Bob! Don't take it personally, hey? Really, I don't want to do this, but I got my orders. It's your fault. This is what you get for being so damned uncooperative all the time. If you get in my way, you're dead! If you go up against a syndicate, you're the one who's gonna end up dead, not me. Now please don't make me pull this trigger. You can't do this! You shut your mouth, furball! <laughs> you something. Why does a contractor of your skill choose to work as a subordinate for the humans? Think about it. We are the chosen people, after all. Those who haven't entered into a contract fear us. It's only natural that they do. A new, more powerful race has appeared. A race more fit than they to rule this world. They are the past, and we are the future. Did Professor Amber teach you that in addition to courtesy? No, that's not something I learned from Amber. All she told me was that we have to make the same disaster happen here that happened in South America five years ago. But why? I don't know, but Amber said we have to do it, so it must be necessary. But you need to understand why. Why we all formed this organization and do what we do. We welcome you to the evening primrose. Will you join us? Suppose I do join your band of merry men. What exactly can I expect to get out of it? Your life. If you think about it for a minute, I'm sure you'll see that you really don't have any other options. There's only one rational choice here. November 11. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me, I am sorry. You just reminded me. It wasn't that long ago that I said nearly the exact same thing to another contractor. And do you know what he did then? The crazy fool actually turned on me and attacked me. There was absolutely no reasonable way he could have expected to win, but he didn't care. I didn't understand how such a contractor could possibly exist. What could he be thinking? What kind of code governed his behavior? The more I thought about it, the less I understood it. An interesting dilemma. So, do you think you're going to follow this Enigma's example? Oh, no. Personally, I'm rather proud of being a contractor and everything it represents, so I'll make the rational decision. Which is? I refuse. <laughs> Don't move. Hands behind your heads, nice and slow. You're like a white knight in shining armor riding in to save me, Misa Key. Who are they? They're the culprits behind our recent epidemic of bombings. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're safe. We wouldn't have had the slightest idea where to look if it hadn't been for your friend. My friend? July. That's how he thinks of you. 
This isn't over yet. We will meet again. And when that time comes, you'll either join us or you'll die. Shining, they dance across the galaxy. Shining, they sing of yearning. Shining, they sing of madness. Nothing can stop them from keeping their divine appointment. As rivers enter the sea, Neither you nor I can stop them. We were unable to persuade him to join us. I'm sorry. I have to tell her that. Where is Amber? I told you before. She's off waiting for the final key. Why would she wait for someone without me? Is this somebody important to her? I wonder who it is. There's no need for you to know. <laughs> tell me who it is! I've got to report to her about what happened back there. You go on ahead and we'll meet at the secondary rendezvous point. Got me? Those are Amber's orders. One time, he actually smiled at me. Can you believe it? And what a smile. It cut right into my heart like a knife. When it happened, I just thought... <sighs> I'm done for. I'd do anything for this guy. All he has to do is say the word. Because I'd do anything to see that smile one more time, no matter what. I expect you feel the same way. I do. <laughs> Always watch over him. Will you do that for me? <laughs> Lee, it's you. What's the matter? Where are you going? You're heading for... Of course, now I see. You must be Hay, the one Amber was always talking about. Thank you, sir. I just said that without thinking. That was the first time that happened. I was so happy I was doing it right. But this, this time it's different. I know this feeling. It's called jealousy. on and on about you. You were the only person she could talk about. I'll never let you past. I said you can't see her! Didn't your mother ever tell you? Good little boys and girls should be in bed by now. You stay out of this! No, you go after the other fella who ran off. Judging by his ability, he's the contractor you're looking for. And you? Who, me? I'm gonna give that little rascal the punishment he's got coming to him. You needn't worry. I've got July with me. Now hurry, Misaki. contractor who's worthy of her. I know it. I know. Show it to me! Show me how powerful you are! Prove you're better than me! That 
worry. We're fine. You see? I showed you that I'm the greatest contractor of them all. You don't need anyone else, do you? I'm number one. That's right, isn't it? Remember? He should be here any minute. You see? Oh no, are you hurt? Let me see! <laughs> You've grown since I saw you last, haven't you? If you think I'm going to forgive your betrayal, I'm not. There's just something I need to ask you before I kill you. What happened back then? Tell me what happened to Pi. Not even a polite greeting first? No long time no see, or my, you look pretty as always. Don't play games with me! You want to see Pi, do you? Do you want me to take you to her? Where is she? She's closer than you realize. It's so far away. <laughs> If you join us, join me, you'll see her, I promise you. But what if the price for seeing her plunges the city into darkness and chaos? What will you do then? I'm sick of your riddles. Nobody move! you can pay. Think twice before using your power. I think this was a good time. Nevertheless, stars, there is no need for you to be hasty. The time is not yet. Not yet. It will come. It will ripen. How did things go on your end? At the very least, we've driven a wedge between them. Now we just have to wait. All right, but do we really need to get your friend on our side that badly? We do. That is, if we really hope to bring the flower of the evening primrose to its full bloom. That's strange. I thought Maki was supposed to be here ahead of us, right? Mm -hmm. Maki won't be coming. I don't like this. It seems so... Lonesome to have to say it, but farewell, that's what you should say, right, Amber? What was that? Were you avenging me just now? <laughs> you need to leave the jokes to the experts. <laughs> right back at ya. Good lord. Are you 
still alive? Uh-huh. I think so. Although, I shouldn't be. He pulled his punch. Kinda sentimental, isn't he? What's this? A statement claiming responsibility for the recent bombings. They say their contractors going public with their existence. They have demands, too. They want full human rights and civil liberties. This thing could be a hoax. How do we really know it's from them? We don't. But there are details in that little manifesto of theirs that haven't been released to the public. That makes me believe this group is legitimate. They call themselves Evening Primrose. This group and BK-201, could he be a member? Does he have any sort of connection to them? Kirihara, what I'm about to tell you is highly classified information. You can't tell anyone. Sir! The leader of this group is a young woman, a former MI6 operative codenamed February, Messier code UB001. She was in South America five years ago on the battlefield of Heaven's War. I doubt it. He didn't look like he was going there just to see an old friend. Really? Well, what about for revenge? Some of the folks upstairs had suspicions that your boy might be trying to rekindle an old flame. Guess they were wrong. We'll just watch and see what happens. I know I shouldn't ask, but what's the deal between those two? It's better that you don't know any more than you need to. Trust me. Oh, what the hell. I guess I can tell you this much. That girl betrayed Hay, and right afterwards, every member of his team in South America was completely wiped out. The first star observed was February. She was the first confirmed contractor. Subsequently, more stars appeared, signifying other contractors. One of those stars happened to be BK-201s. It wasn't long after that that everything within a 1,500 kilometer radius of the South American gate disappeared off the face of the Earth. Bottom Bottom up. Up. <laughs> Don't you deadbeats have anything better to do? It's not even five o'clock and you're all drunk as skunks. That's ridiculous. Skunks don't drink. Let's get drunk, said the little skunk. Look what you did, Masusu. You inspired Lewis to write a new song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, off to work, are you? Yes. I wish all my tenants were as hardworking as you. Thank you. Hey, neighbor, join us for a brewski. I have to work. Next time. Work schmirt. Just take the day off. Stop it! He's a good boy! Don't pull him down into the gutter with the rest of you! Go do your drinking someplace else! I gotta clean this patio! Move it! Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but it's our policy. Guests cannot leave until they've paid their bill in full. I'd love to, pal, but I left my wallet in my other pants. How about I come by tomorrow and pay you then? I'm sorry, sir. Get out of my way! <laughs> Going somewhere? Who do you think you are? Kinji Sakurai of the Nakazawa family. I'm not impressed. Likewise, just pay your bill and get out. If you refuse again, you'll get hurt. <laughs> Look who's talking. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Out of my way, punk. This is the only thing you'll get out of me. <laughs> You little bastard! Stand still! Um, you're not injured, are you, sir? You're mine, you snotty little punk! Wait, sir, please just calm down. I'm gonna kill you! That's vintage one! <laughs> He's awesome.
I'm gonna carve you up. No, you're not! You wanna go first? Fine by me! <laughs> Thanks, boss! Didn't you hear what the kid said? If you refuse to pay your bill, you're gonna get hurt. Don't make me... <laughs> Next time, pay your bill! This'll help. Thanks, man. Oh! My name's... I know, you're Kenji Sakurai of the Nakazawa family. I'm Lee Shengshen. Nice to meet you. Lee, huh? Do you think you could teach me some of that kung fu? Kung fu? Yeah, the same kind you were using on Mr. Cheapskate over there. You dodged and weaved like some kind of snake or something. If the boss hadn't shown up, I know you would have kicked that guy's ass. You would have been like, hi-ya! Dude, uh, I'm not that good at it. What are you talking about? You were the man back there! Kenji! Right here, boss. I deserve that, boss. Kenji, never turn your back, especially on a guy like that. Yes, sir. Thanks for the help, kid. I owe you one. Uh, just doing my job, sir. Take him out. Show him a good time, whatever he wants. Sure. You can count on me, boss. Let's go. Here you go. Enjoy. Are you sure you don't want to go get a steak or something? No, oh, I love this stuff. Yeah, no kidding. That's like your 16th bowl. <sighs> Would that stuff make me a strong kung fu master like you? Like I said, I'm not that good. Come on, you can share your kung fu secrets with me. Want something else? Just name it. I've got plenty of money left. If you want, we could go to this club I know. Good music and the girls there are wild. Uh, thanks, but I'm gonna have to pass. I get it. No girls while you're training for a big kung fu match, huh? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Um... Don't worry, Lee. This baby will get you home. You'll see. Yeah, but... Look, you helped me out, so I'm taking you home. It's the least I could do. Things couldn't get any worse. Man, I'm really sorry to put you out like this. It's fine. Wow, pretty empty place you've got here. I'm not here much due to work. So, Lee, what do you do in your free time when you're not working? Not much. Well, what about your kung fu? Is that why you're here, to study at some dojo? No, I came here to attend school. Yeah? A secret kung fu school? <laughs> what was that? My neighbors. They're always like that. Always? That's nuts. How the hell do you ever get any sleep? It's not even 6 o'clock in the morning. Wow. I guess they've been at it for over 12 hours. How can you stand all that racket they're making? Oh, it's really no problem once you get used to it. You mean you put up with this kind of crap all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go have a word with your neighbors. Is there a problem, dude? Big one, you guys. Um, you're not a cop, are you? No, I'm with the Nakazawa family. Isn't, Isn't that, that the, the name, name of the band? band? Now listen up, you bunch of loudmouth morons. The walls in this place are so thin that everyone who lives here knows when you fart. So what do you think it sounds like with you blaring away on that guitar all day and night? Loud? Ugh. What'd you do that for? Look, I don't care what you do to these deadbeats, but that door is another story, pal. Uh. Good 
this myth. Right. <laughs> well, then, who's up for breakfast? Huh? I bet those door repairs must have made you kids hungry. Thanks, Miss Suzu. So, Irene, you said you've got a big family and you're working to help them out? That's pretty cool. Yep, Mom and Dad have their hands full with my four brothers, so I send them money whenever I can. Is bartending tough? <laughs> no, not really. Plus, it's easy to make good tips every night. I just wear a low-cut top. <laughs> <laughs> You're a smart one. So, Lewis, what brought you all the way to the city? Come on, isn't it obvious, my good man? I came here to spread the holy word of rock and roll as a guitar god. <laughs> In that case, you better pray you can learn to play it better. What? Hey, man. <laughs> and you, Josh? I'm at the university studying the most perfect form of art, animation. Anime? Are you serious? Hey, it's a major art form. Here, let me explain to you why. Number one, it's... No, please don't. If you do, we'll be here all day. Wow, it really sounds like you all lead such interesting lives. You'd think so. Too bad most of them spend their spare time drinking and puking all over the place. Ow. Actually, this sounds like a pretty cool place to live. Maybe I'll move in here, too. What do you say, Lee? <laughs> oh, jeez. Where does the guy put it all? Does he have a hollow leg? Want some more food, Lee? There's lots. Um, sure, why not? How does that guy not explode? Thanks again, Masuzu. Oh, breakfast has been taken care of. Let's get back to our party. You guys want to join us? Yeah, I'm up for it. What about you, Lee? You want to uh, come? No, I'm sorry. I've got an appointment I've got to leave for pretty soon. That guy is so antisocial. I'll say, before today, he said what? Maybe three words to us? If he doesn't want to join in, that just means more booze for us. Who cares why he acts the way he does? Maybe he's just stuck up. I don't think so. Hmm? As he was walking away from us, he actually looked lonely. Hitotsubashi. For the record, I don't dislike men of action such as yourself. I'm honored, sir. Even so, I can't allow you to stir up trouble within this organization. I'm not sure I understand. Like hell you don't, you liar! Oh, shit. Uh... I heard you beat up Oshida's brother the other night. Both of you relax. It's not a big deal, and I'm sure he had it coming. But the petty quarrels and infighting in this family are beginning to draw a lot of unwanted attention. So no more making waves. We're all gonna get along and be a family. We clear. I'll take it to heart, sir. This is Totsubashi. Has he already shown up at the restaurant? Yes. Then keep watching the place like a hawk. The package should be arriving sometime in the next few days. When it does, don't interfere with the deal. Yeah, yeah, we know. If the deal gets ruined, we won't find out who's involved. And speaking of involved, what's the lowdown on that kid, hey? What kid? He's nothing to worry about now. Are you sure about that? If he makes any trouble at all, you know what you have to do. I understand. You missed one hell of a party. Where's everyone else? They crashed out. <sighs> All right. I really have to thank you, Lee. Me? For what? Putting me up and giving me a place to stay out of the rain. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Most people would have just said, tough luck, call a taxi. Really? That thought never occurred to me. You know what, Lee? You're a really strange guy. Well, let's do this again sometime, okay? Sure. Um, is anyone here? Oh, Lee. Since you don't have a cell phone, I didn't know how to reach you. Oh. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we have to close the restaurant for a bit. It should only be for two or three days. Why? Did something happen? It's nothing. Just a few repairs. A restaurant does have to have working toilets, after all. Um, okay. 
Don't worry, I'll still pay you for the days we're closed. Consider it a paid vacation. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hold on, boss. What did you say? I'm going to take Nakazawa down. But why? I realize I owe the old man a lot, but we need a more dynamic leader. A gangster's done when he starts talking peace. It's time for him to go. I don't get it. Why are you telling me this? Because there's this job I need you to do for me, kid. <sighs> Kenji, come with me. I'll show you. It looks like a crate. What's in there, boss? Is it guns? Guys? <laughs> Surprised, Kenji? Uh, yeah. Wake up. <laughs> what the hell? A girl? No, a doll. A doll? You mean she's not a human? Not at all. A human won't do anything you ask her. This merchandise will, whatever you want. <gasps> she feels good. Folks will pay a lot of money to play with a doll like this one. You're going to look after her for the next few days. Just like a pet, you'll have to feed her or she'll die. The buyer wants to make sure she's in mint condition. Be sure to keep her nice and clean, Kenji. That includes down there, too. Down where? Remember, mint condition. Don't get any funny ideas. Uh, sure thing. No offense, but why did you drag him into this? I needed someone as dumb as him. Someone smarter, such as either of you would just manhandle the merchandise. <laughs> but not Kenji. That boy doesn't have the guts or the sense to betray me. When he said he wanted me to do something for him, I was sure he'd ask me to carry out a hit. Not this. Who are you? Do you even have a name? Can you talk? Do you even understand what I'm saying? Please don't look at me like that. I wonder, what's going to happen to you after this? Information on BK-201. I told you, I've given you everything I have. Yeah, I know you did, but I just can't seem to put all the pieces together. We have this evening Primrose group. Not to mention the statement they released. And then, of course, there's BK-201. Why did he meet with their leader? I couldn't tell if they were enemies or allies. And what's Evening Primrose's objective in the first place? As of right now, we know next to nothing. I don't know how we're supposed to track them down like this. Say, any progress on the Stargazer's message? Have your techs found anything new in their Jesus, analysis? Would you give it a rest already? I have to deal with this stuff all day, every day at work. So the last thing I want to do is talk more about it at home. I'm sorry. We need a break from all this. Aren't you off tomorrow? Yes, I am. Good, because I think the best way to take our minds off of things is shopping. Huh? What the hell happened? You sure no one spotted you guys and got her out of there? Please, we're not amateurs, Wong. Then where's the dog? What happened to her? I don't know. Maybe someone else came and ripped them off first. Or an inside job. It's possible. What makes you say that? 
There's been a lot of infighting within the Nakazawa family. How about it, Yen? Can you find her? So what do we do? Back off. It's best that we not get involved. We're not the ones who get to decide whether or not we continue the mission. I'll send word to the higher-ups. Until we hear from them, we stand down. Hi, Lee. I'm sorry. We don't have any other place to go. Can we hide here? Finally begun. Why did you come here? I'm sorry, Lee, but you're the only person I know who's not a member of the Nakazawa family. Do you even know what you have here, what she really is? Yeah, the boss called her merchandise. Well, in that case, why did you run away with her? Because I had to! She's innocent, man! I've got to protect her! Yeah? How? Well, I... I guess... I just... I'll think of something! What gifts? Why are you so angry? What about your gang? I'll have to leave it. The boss is gonna want my head for this. She and I have to run away somewhere and never come back. They won't give up. They'll come after you. That's a chance I'm gonna have to take. Look, man, I admit I'm an idiot. I don't know much about the world or anything at all. But the one thing that I do know is this. If I let them have her, her life will be hell. I can't let that happen. Just look at her. You don't understand anything at all. So Kenji did that to you? Yes. He had the doll with him and they ran away? Yes, sir. Of all the times to pull this, I didn't think he had the balls. What do we do? Tell the buyer we had a shipping delay. We'll even knock a little something off the price for his patience. But boss... <laughs> have you forgotten I just had the old man whacked? That means I have to buy off or kill everyone who's fighting for control of the family. This is a war. And wars require money. Now get out of my sight. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you guys, I want them found immediately. I want the girl alive and unharmed. Kenji dies, understood? Right, right. Look, isn't that the cutest sweater? <laughs> More clothes? Haven't you bought enough? Jeez. That BK-201? Don't move. Now turn and face me, nice and slow. Uh, Lee? Uh, hi, Misaki. It's nice to see you again. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? How have you been? <laughs> oh, this thing, uh... Who's this? Um, well, I don't really know how to explain how we met. It's a long story. Hmm. Okay, I get it. Get what? There's nothing to get. Look, I can understand the guy buying clothes for his girlfriend. But don't you think it's odd that he's buying underwear, shoes, and a wig? You sound kind of jealous. I told you. Yeah, yeah. 
Maybe those clothes aren't for a girl. Maybe they're for him on drag night. Thanks for helping me pick these out. I know someone who's going to look fantastic in them. Lee, tell me, are you going to wear those clothes? What? Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm just helping a friend. His girlfriend's birthday is coming up next week. He's too busy to get her a present, so he asked me if I'd pick one up. So here I am, just trying to help my friend out. Oh, yeah, wow. That's really nice of you, Lee. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to get going now. No girlfriend, no cross-dressing. I say you go for it. Drop it. No. Come on, just admit it. You can't take your eyes off of that guy. You are insane. <laughs> Lee, you came back. I live here, don't I? What's all this? New clothes. Huh? You can't run away with her looking like that, right? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yen, why are you here? Is she your girlfriend, Lee? She just showed up and walked in without saying anything. What are you doing? Are you tracking me? Wong's orders? Then why are you here? Hey, you've been acting strange. Is everything okay, Lee? Fine. Get her changed, would you? He's the one? Are you certain? I'm sorry. I know I've caused you a lot of trouble. You sure about this? You bet I am. You realize you're going to be pursued for the rest of your life. You'll never be able to stay in one place for long because someone will always be chasing you. Yeah, I'm prepared for that. Do you know where you'll go or how you're going to live? What will you do for money? Even if you get a job, what are you going to do with her while you're out working? She can't even use the bathroom by herself. We'll manage somehow. Why did you decide to save her? Huh? She can't speak or understand you, but you're risking your life for her. Why? Yo, Irene! Hi, Kenji. You going out to a party? Nope, I'm off to work. My brother's private school tuition isn't free, you know. Hope you make good tips. Lee, do you know what brought Irene to this city in the first place? She's earning money and sending it back home to her parents so her siblings can get a good education. She said even though she wasn't able to go to a good school, she wants to make sure that those kids can. Yes, but she's doing that because they're her family, her own flesh and blood. <sighs> I don't know what family's like because my parents abandoned me. I'm like Irene. But instead of siblings, I've got that girl. Just like Irene with her family, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to give her a better life. Don't you have anyone like that, Lee? Someone you'd give everything up for to protect? <sighs> I'm sorry. Didn't mean to sound so deep and philosophical there. I guess you can't help what you fall in love with, huh? need to go now. We've got to get you two down to the train station. Thanks, man. Whichever train leaves next! What? Look, just give me two tickets for the next train. It doesn't matter where it's going. Uh, sure. There's an express train headed for the coast, but it's leaving in less than ten minutes. Perfect. Kenji. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, sir, come back! Your change! There he is! No! There are too many witnesses here. You guys follow him, and I'll contact the boss. Right. Okay.
This way. You two go ahead without us. What about you? Just go. <laughs> Get ready, Yen. Huh? She's all by herself. Hey! Where did your friends run off to? We lost him. You should really watch where you're going. If you're looking for the kid and the doll, they were taken away. How long have you been watching? It's time to pull out. The kid will be killed and the doll will be sold. Once that's done, they'll try to silence any witnesses, namely you two. Face facts, hey. You've compromised the mission. They know you from the restaurant. You have to go into hiding. Besides, if you try to help that kid out anymore, the Syndicate might very well take it that you've turned against them. Are you going to report this to Huang? No, please. Just what on earth would I gain by doing that? All I'm doing here is killing time. Plus, there's never a dull moment when you're around. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Yes, it was a shipping delay on our part. We will, of course, offer you a discount. Wonderful, thank you again for doing business with us. Let me out of here, damn it! Don't worry, I will soon enough. You're not going to like what happens when I do, though. Is that a specter from that doll? What is she doing? Spying on us? No. Calling out. She's saying they're going to kill Kenji. Please help him. What? Are you actually saying that doll sent out her specter on her own accord? That's crazy. It's a trap, hey? Those gangsters must have found some way to control her. Otherwise... What about earlier, Yin? Was it your decision? When you came to my apartment to check on me, were you acting on your own then? Ask her where they are. Like I said, never a dull moment. That was really stupid of you, Kenji. I can't believe you'd throw it all away for a thing like that doll. What are you talking about? She's not just a thing. She's more than that, boss. Much more, in fact. I've had about enough crap out of you for one day. Too bad, because I've got more to say. I've decided to risk my life for her. As long as I do that, boss, then I can do anything right. Including dodging a bullet? I don't think so. Someone I looked up to once told me I could do anything. Yeah, who? You did. A long time ago, or have you already forgotten? <clears throat> don't you remember?
nice and easy. In the car. You're driving, boss. My bike. It's still at your place. You mind looking after it for me? I'm fine. Just take care of it, would you? Sure. Where to, Kenji? The train station. Very well. It's been a while since you've ridden behind me, hasn't it? It sure has. But the last time was on a motorcycle. You're right. That was the first time I'd ever been on a bike. Wasn't that also the first day you and I met? Yeah, it was. You see, kid, a motorcycle is more than just a machine. Much more, in fact. If you love it and take good care of it, it'll do the same for you. It'll never betray you, either. Understand? Nah, you're probably too young. I understand! <laughs> you do, huh? Well, then I want you to listen up. Find something. Something you're willing to risk your life over, Junior. It doesn't matter what. Find that, and you'll be able to do anything. Just don't be afraid. Remember that. Why did you let him go? He had a gun on me. Yes, that's true, but there weren't any bullets left in the magazine. A man of your background would have known that. I guess I didn't notice. Wait. Let me ask you something. Do you have anything in your life that you'd risk everything to protect? Because I sure as hell don't. I did, but that was a long time ago. I see. you to know you don't have to stay with me if you don't want to you're free to go anytime you don't really know me so it's cool if you want to take off trust me you'll completely understand <laughs> itotsubashi's dead some mobster named oshita is now running the nakazawa family so what does that mean for our mission Seems that Itotsubashi's smuggling route died with him. Because of that, the higher-ups have scrubbed it. I see. What's the matter, hey? Nothing. What? BK-201 was active? Is that confirmed? Uh, yes. I have the report. When and where? Last night at 1900 hours and 12 minutes. It's hard to pinpoint the exact coordinates, but it was somewhere near the train station. That close to HQ and we missed him. Were there any other reports from that area last night? There was a shooting at the station, but it was after BK-201 had become inactive and the victim was ID'd as a local mobster. It's being treated as a gangland slang. A shooting? Anything else? No, ma'am. Nothing else has been reported. I see. All right. Thanks anyway. Where are you going to turn up next, BK-201?
You have a package for me? Yep, and a big one, too. It says perishable, so it must be food. It's from Kenji. Is he your door-busting friend? The one who wore the flashy clothes? Didn't you tell me he moved away to parts unknown? Yeah. He must be some friend to send you all that. He is, but that's a lot of food for only one person. I'll say. Could you please pass this out to all the tenants? What do I look like, your mother? No, you go pass it out yourself. Me? What's up with that strange face you're making? Is it really so hard for you to be neighborly? What's with the long face? Is there something wrong, sweetie? This isn't like you, Shoko. Hmm? Are you gonna answer me? Guno. Huh? What's gonna happen over there? The gate. That thing? They'll seal it up and forget about it. Of course, with all that property gone, it's gonna jack up real estate prices. Landlords will make out like bandits. Damn it. Looks like we're too late. They're gone, and I was so looking forward to busting some heads in. What about the intel on the suspect? Do you think he works with those terrorists out of South America? Hell if I know, but I guess that's why they sent us here, right? What's this? What? Find something? An old lady. Uh, think she's tied to this guy? Eh, yeah, could be. Let's take it back to the station, see what they have to say upstairs. They actually said, don't bring us any more junk like this. Those forensic guys are a riot. I guess we're officially off this case. <sighs> Damn, it's cold. Come on, let's go get a drink. I'd love to, but I can't. The wife's making dinner tonight. My favorite dish, actually. Fine, then. I'll go drink by myself. Hold on. Why don't you come and join us for dinner? And if it's a drink you want... Perfect. Thank you. We're so glad you could join us tonight, Kuno. You won't be after I drink all your beer. Sorry, this isn't too fancy. Come on, cut the crap, Isozaki. The only reason you brought me here was to show off your pretty young wife. Well, maybe it was. I'm shocked. You didn't try to deny it. What about you, Kuno? Do you have a woman? What are you, blind or something? With this ugly old mug of mine, I don't think so. Stop being so hard on yourself. I, for one, find you absolutely charming. <sighs> You're a really good wife, you know that? Much too good for your husband. Kuno, you really can hold your liquor, can't you? Runs in my family. Genetic, I guess. Sometimes I wonder, what would it be like to get stinking falling down drunk just once? That wouldn't be good. Not in your line of work. Think about it. What would happen if you were working undercover? Liquor loosens your lips. You could accidentally end up blowing your cover, you know? He's heard it before, huh? Always from you, Mr. Party Pooper. <laughs> Didn't mean to yell. I do appreciate the concern, Shizuka. <laughs> Empty. Can I get you another one? Nah, uh, I'm drunk. That's a good one. In all the years I've known you, I've never seen you get drunk, Kuno, not even tipsy. And it's a good thing I'm not a cop anymore, eh? Well, whatever you're doing now has got to be a much safer line of work, right? <laughs> yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? 
Was Isozaki the same way? No. My husband. Was he also unable to get drunk like you? Good question. You know, I think maybe he was. Hello! You live here? Yes. Wonderful. This must be Divine Fate, sister. Yes. Young man, we're here to share good news that will change your life forever. Uh, Knowledge, tranquility, and life everlasting can be yours. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm a little busy right now. You're never too busy to improve your spiritual well-being. Quite right, never too busy. All I want to do right now is put my groceries on. Well, in that case, let us help you. No, nope, you don't. Please, we insist. Oh, look at this. My, my, so many healthy natural foods. Um, I really need to get them into the refrigerator? Oh, we'll do it for you. In fact, we'll also cook. We'll make you a dinner that will nourish your body. And tell you how to nourish your soul. Thanks, but I really have to be somewhere soon. But do you know where we'll all be soon? We do! Sister, give this fine young man one of our pamphlets, if you please. I think you'll find this track to be most enlightening. Isn't she heavenly? This is our beloved founder. There's a spiritual longing in you, isn't there? It must be the gate's will that we found you. The gate? Oh, yes. You're interested in the gate, are you? We can tell you so much, but we can show you even more if you just join us. We're worshippers of the Holy Gate. It can transform your life the same way it did ours, young man. You've heard of us, haven't you? The Fraternal Order of the Holy Gate, also known as... Stars and the moon may very well be gone, friends. Friends of the gate? It's one of those gate-centered religions that have sprung up over the last few years. I'm starting to lose count of them all. Never heard of them? Yeah. Alma, their founder. Our superiors want her star extinguished. Naturally, that's where you come in. They're having an open house next week for new members of the faith. We have a mole in the group, that woman in the photo. She'll contact you once you're inside. Shyoko, you're in the Syndicate too. That explains a lot. Let go! What are you doing? Stop! <clears throat> What's with you? Knock it off. You tried to pick the wrong person's pockets, sweetie. Save your excuses for the judge. Stop! Do you need anything else? Huh? Can I get you something else? Food, maybe? No, I'm good right now. Thanks. Okay. Tell me something. What? Why are you being so nice? Just call it guilt. After all, it's partially my fault you're in this place. What do you mean, partially? You chased me down like I was a thief. <laughs> I really thought you'd just pick my pocket. If that were so, would I have said, sir, you dropped your wallet? Guess not. Well, I wish you would have guessed right. Just be glad I'm settling out of court. I could have sued you and your department, you know. Because of you, joining that touring company is out of the question now. Thanks for making me miss my audition. For what? For this play. I'm sorry. Oh, who cares? They probably would have given it to someone prettier. For now, all I've got to look forward to is that big settlement I'll be getting from you. Come on, don't give me that look. I'm not asking for much. First you think I'm a thief, and now you think I'm some money grubber? That hurts. Tell me something. You expressed a bunch of different emotions over the last few minutes. So is this the real you, or are you acting? <laughs> What's so damn funny? <laughs> You're no fun at all. How come when we go out drinking, I'm the only one that gets drunk? I told you already, I don't get drunk. Why not, you gloomy Gus? Why? Uh... <laughs> Easy there. And I told you, don't call me. <clears throat> but you are a gloomy, Gus. Why are you so gloomy? <laughs> Three sheets to the wind again. Jeez. 
And just where do you think you're going? Your place is this way. just because I'm drunk, even though I am drunk. <laughs> Which one is it, then? I did it because I like you, you gloomy Gus. You like me? Then you need help. You hardly even know me. Knowing someone well doesn't necessarily make it better. Sometimes not knowing is best. Right? Yeah, well, not knowing isn't all it's cracked up to be either. Right, Shioko? When the influence of the wicked grew too great, the gate responded and made manifest a giant void without warning. The wicked grew fearful. They thought they could contain that which we now extol as the holy gate with a wall. They knew not what we know, that the gate isn't simply centralized in one location. It exists in the hearts and minds of those souls who surrender themselves to it. Therefore, no man-made wall can keep you from the enlightenment it offers. Apparently, the Founder is kept secluded, making an appearance before the Believers only once per year. Penning her location down won't be easy. What about our mole? She's leading a devotional session for a group of new converts tomorrow, my group. Copy that. Huang? Yeah. The security here is really tight. Regular communication will be difficult. Why do you want me to contact you so often? Is there something bothering you? No. Not at all. And lo, the Founder fasted and meditated on the Void, day after day and night after night. Till the blessed day, she realized its true meaning and purpose. Very good, sister. Let us continue reading on page 201 of the sacred text. You. Yes? Lead us, please. Uh, chapter 7. The Loss of the Moon, verse 1. The night the void appeared on hallowed ground, the moon disappeared and the position of all the stars changed as well. The Founder recognized the significance of this event. Come in, brother. Sit. Don't be afraid. This room is a confessional. It's never monitored, but even so, I've swept for bugs. There's a secret room underneath the temple that only the Founder and a handful of her most loyal followers know about. You can find your way to it with that. The day after tomorrow, at 2 a.m., the Founder will be meeting with a certain VIP. Understood. I'll take out Madam Founder. But my power only works once. I can't use it over and over. You handle the followers. We can't fail. It's taken three long years to get to this point. Why? It took me that long to earn the trust of the Order and attain the position I have. And to ascertain who the genuine founder was. Ascertain? Does she have doubles? Of course. But it's more than just that. I'm sure you were told she's a contractor, but were you informed about her power? Do you know what it is? No. Do you remember six years ago when a house member by the name of Hirose was killed? It was in the news. His secretary was the one who killed him. There were witnesses, too. Hirose was connected to the Syndicate. He was about to expose this order and bring it down when he was killed. After his death, the Syndicate launched its own investigation. It wasn't the secretary who killed him, but an imposter who was a dead ringer for her. Do you have any idea where this is going? Don't tell me. The secretary had a twin sister. No. I wish it were that simple. The killer transformed herself into Hirose's secretary. That's the ability that Alma, the founder, possesses. The ability to transform. Thanks. Come again. It's closing time, eh? But not for good friends. It means a lot to me that you always stop by on the anniversary of Isosaki's death. This afternoon, one of his cousins came in and reminisced about him. Unfortunately, I couldn't really add much to the conversation. 
He had so many stories to share, and I had so few. You told me once that happens a lot, right? Huh? That when someone close to you is killed, you lose your memories from the shock of it all. I think you said that happens a lot. Yeah, it does for some people. What does that say about me, then? Am I too weak or shallow to remember him? No, of course not. I don't understand. Even though they're hazy, you're still in my memories. But not... Not the two years Isosaki and I were married. I can't recall anything. It's like they're completely lost. Look, it's not your fault. What you had to go through was horrible. Besides, sometimes you're better off forgetting things. I'm not a baby. I can make it to the train station on my own. I'm not gonna get lost like last time, trust me. I'm walking you there, okay? Jeez. Be careful, would you? Shioko? Is she a friend of yours? Kuno? What are you doing in this neighborhood? <laughs> What's wrong? It's Ozaki. Honey? Honey, what is it? What's wrong? Tell me! She's Oh my god. It's Ozaki. Shioko, wait! He's Ozaki. He's Ozaki. He's Ozaki. He's Ozaki. Case closed. Well, since I'm leaving, can you tell me why at least? Due to the irregularity of the crime, it's being classified along with similar cases, all of which involve anomalous perpetrators. Anomalous, huh? Surely you've heard of them. They're people with special abilities operating behind the scenes, called contractors. I heard they were just rumors. Reliable sources inform us that a group of such people were involved on the front lines of the South American conflict. Have you seen the autopsy report on Isozaki? The official cause of death was the rupture of his internal organs. According to the coroner, they were destroyed from inside out. How this could happen is still a mystery. Currently, we have no system in place to deal with cases such as these. That's all I can really say at the moment. I really wish you'd reconsider tendering this. I can understand how you feel, but word from the top is to halt any further investigation. You're a good cop, Kuno. I'd hate to lose you. Shioko, what the hell are you? Kuno. Hmm. Who are you, pal? No one you know. Just someone who wants to ask you something. Did you know anyone who sees a contractor has to have their memories erased? Mm -hmm. You saw one, didn't you? The night Detective Isozaki was killed, isn't that right? I guess you can kiss your memories goodbye then. <clears throat> Lucky for you, someone finds that lamentable. You being such a capable officer of the peace, they think you and your skills could be put to good use. <clears throat> who the hell are you? We've already taken care of Isozaki's widow, and portion of her memories have been erased. What? That's right. So if you want to keep your memories, join the Syndicate. Doing so is the only way you'll keep those precious memories of yours intact, my friend. Oh dear. It's raining. I wish I could say I was impressed, but it's still not nearly enough. We need more dolls. They're not that easy to come by, sir. I don't want to hear excuses. I'm done talking with you. Where's Alma? She's waiting for you in the other room, sir. sound too enthusiastic about it. I'm sorry, but I'm not happy that you're using the dolls as your tools. Tell me, is it Amber who wants this? It's what Evening Primrose wants. It's K-1. 
Kishida, right? I didn't know you could see surveillance specters. Or that you were a contractor. What? <laughs> Who were you spying for? A light! Somebody get a light! Madam Founder! Are you the contractor who's come to kill me? Fine. Go on, do it. Send out a specter. Yeah, sorry. I was getting a little worried there. Worried about what? Why the hell would you do something like that? The woman you were working with. What happened to her? She's been captured. They have her now because you decided to interfere. What? What do we do now, Juan? Juan! You're late. And you're the one who called us. Got our orders from upstairs. We're going after the Founder again. Take her out quick and quiet. Understood. There's more. We have to eliminate our mole who got captured. She's disposable? Yeah, and we can't fail this time. I'm going too. Tomorrow, 1600 hours. The usual place. He's coming? That's not like him. Wait. Hold on a second, Hay. We need to talk. Just like Huang, I was also given orders. What orders? Ones that apply only to you and me. In the event that Huang is unable or unwilling to dispose of this captured woman, our orders are clear. You and I are to terminate him. side of the temple is completely clear. All right, then. When the alarms go off, you know what to do. Serum, and don't you dare pretend like you don't remember me. Didn't take him long, did it? The founder of this place. You know her routine. Where is she right now? She's not here. Not in the temple, at least. Since this is where potential assassins would strike first, she normally holds up in different secure locations. The closest being a deserted village on a hillside to the north of here. Look for the house surrounded by armed guards. It's me. Madam Founder is resting right now. We'll have to ask you to take care of your business and leave. Don't worry. I just want to tell her we're about to move the merchandise. Let's go. You and I are creating a diversion so that Hank can reach the Founder. Now, when you have my word, I won't pursue you. 
But if you refuse and have come to kill Alma, I'll make you regret that you ever crossed paths with me. They're pretty violent for people who preach peace and love, aren't they? Unfortunately for me, I'm not allowed to kill you just yet. Not without Amber's permission, at least. For some reason, she wants to invite you to join us. You should feel honored. Why don't you come along quietly? No! letting him go there's really no point in following him but he's gonna kill the founder isn't he doesn't matter we have her dolls now we'll just have to get the rest from another source so what does that mean are we breaking off all ties to her there's nothing to break she couldn't deliver the numbers she's not worth the trouble <sighs> what a terrible payment god only knows what the cholesterol is doing to my body That's an ugly power for such a pretty woman. Thanks for scaring the crap out of me back there. It reminded me of what happened the last time I saw you. You only got close to me to find out what Isozaki and I had discovered. You're one hell of an actress, as I fell for it hook, line, and sinker. So what are we gonna do? About what? Us. We can't keep shacking up like this. Why not? I don't have any family to lecture me about living in sin with my boyfriend. Wait just a second. Are you thinking about settling down with me? Jeez, blunt, aren't you? <laughs> wow, Kuno. Marriage. Didn't know you were the type. Of course not. Who'd marry me? There you go, being a gloomy Gus again. Can't you ever lighten up? Think about it. For starters, there's this ugly mug of mine. Secondly, there's my line of work. When I'm assigned to a big case, half the time I won't even make it home at night. That's okay. Oh. I can put up with your schedule, Gus, and your face, I just love it. Ugh. You're nuts. <sighs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm actually shocked, Gus. This is the first time I've ever seen you drunk. I'm not drunk. Hey, watch this. <laughs> oh, be careful, that's dangerous. No, it ain't. Come here, sit down with me. What am I gonna do with you, huh? Did you say what you did because you're drunk? No, I didn't bring up settling down just because I'm drunk. But I am drunk. Which is it, then? I said it because I love you, sweetie. And I want to be with you forever. Just don't break my heart, okay? Say, Gus? Yeah? There's something I want to ask you. I wondered at the time why you were interested in the investigation that Isozaki and I had been working on, and why you asked if we'd found anything. I was so drunk that night, I don't remember what I told you. But I guess I told you enough, didn't I? Enough so that a few days later you turned Isozaki's insides into jelly in front of me and his wife. Why did you kill him, Shioko? Hell, you did more than just that. Isozaki's widow had the majority of her memories of him erased. The whole two years they were married were totally wiped out. You know how I look at it? Isozaki was rubbed out twice, not only from this world, but also from the mind of the wife who loved him. And it's all your fault. I wasn't the only person who got close to you by acting. Isozaki did the same thing. What? The group you two were investigating were the founding members of the Friends of the Gate cult. It was just in its infancy then. But it already had spies in high places, like your partner Isozaki. I don't believe you. You found a photo that day. It showed an old woman that was Alma, the founder, in her true form. 
come in. You're the contractor from earlier, right? Isozaki claimed he passed the photo on to your superiors. However, I can tell you it never reached their hands. This is crazy. When it didn't show up, we knew there was a spy, but we didn't know if it was you or Isozaki yet. We had to find out who it was. That's why... That's why you got close to me, isn't it? I take it this is your true form. Well, who can say for sure? To tell you the truth, contractor, I don't really know anymore. This is my payment, you see. Growing older, that is. Every time I transform my age, it's taken quite a toll. Now I have very little time left. Keep watch. Huh? He has exactly one hour to make it back here. And if he doesn't? Then I'll go back to the temple myself. Right after I've killed you, of course. There's one other thing I want to ask you. Tell me, how did I get away without having my memories erased? You see... <gasps> What's wrong? Help! Help me! What is it? What's happening to you? Shioko. Why do you let the Syndicate use you? Although it's not as if they'd leave you alone. That seems to be the fate of all contractors. We serve the humans as puppets, and in the process, lose our conscience and never hesitate to use our powers. Is it any wonder so many of us end up being used as killing machines? This was not a fate I wanted. I wanted to make my own, one where I wouldn't be a slave to the humans. From the way you're talking, it sounds to me like you're saying the contractors aren't human. The humans don't consider us to be or treat us as such. Why then should we accept a life of servitude that benefits only them, a fate that we never chose? That's why I founded this religion. I used it more as a means to avoid detection at first, but in time I came to see it as the truth, the path to a peaceful coexistence with the humans, the path to freedom. I ask you this, what do you think separates contractors from humans? For one thing, contractors don't have a heart. I've heard that, but is it really true? It has to be. Contractors have no sense of guilt. Neither do some humans. Those who commit sins still commit them. Contractors have powers that can kill. Humans don't. Wrong again. Even if they don't have powers, a human can still take another's life with a gun, a knife, or even their bare hands. No. The only real difference between us is the way we think. Our predilection for rational judgment. Something that's lacking in human society. Think about it. In the human world, it's not those who are held back by morality who succeed. It's those who only seek their own benefit. Contractors don't have those inclinations, so perhaps we're more evolved than humans. Maybe we've finally beaten that system. Contractors don't dream either. I've had one for quite a while. I dream of a day when contractors and humans are considered equal and live in harmony. Still, I used my power to kill in the past. Back then, I didn't use it much because the payment was far too great. But when I saw how inspired my appearance could make people, I knew that the cost required of me was worth it, so I used my power again and again in order to look like this. I use my power, the more severely my body ages and weakens. But I feel that's the least I can do to atone for my past. Isn't that funny? To hear a contractor actually talking about atoning for something? And now, the time for my final payment is at hand. But I'm happy. Because I was able to escape it. The fate I mentioned. I was able to make my own. It's an ironic payment for a contractor, isn't it? For just a little while, my human emotions, they... 
they actually return. And when they do, the full weight of what I've done with my powers hits me like a freight train. All the shame and horror and death. It's so overpowering. Shyoko. No. It, it terrifies me. <laughs> Great performance, sweetie, but I won't be fooled by your acting again. I, I like it, though. Uh. Being scared, because I normally don't feel anything. But I do now, just like I did the night you talked about settling down. Contractors have memories, just like humans do, but they're different somehow. They're always cold and distant, very vague. But the ones I have of that night, those are crystal clear. I can remember every single thing about it, Kuno. Even down to the tiniest detail. The crickets chirping. The sound of the river flowing. The chill in the air. The smell of the booze on your breath. Even the stars in the sky. Despite what you might believe, I wasn't acting that night. I was happy. It's a wonderful memory, but a cruel one, too. The only memory I have where I can feel anything is of that night. You were so happy yourself. I didn't want you to lose that memory. The happiness and love you and I both felt then because... When someone's erased from another's memory, it's just the same as if they were killed. I didn't want that to happen to you. So that explains it. It was you. You were the one who told the Syndicate not to erase my memories, weren't you? Well, did you do it? Is that why she's still alive? Because you know her? Don't be ridiculous. Is she the reason you sent out the spectre? No, she's got nothing to do with that either. Then shoot her. Uh, don't rush me. Shoot us both. No, eh? don't do this, Kuno. Be quiet. What a surprise. I never took you for the emotional type. That's rich coming from a contractor. In case you didn't realize it, Wong, she's a contractor too. You know that, right? <laughs> I guess you can't help who you fall in love with. <gasps> Hurry it up. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you're planning on just letting him go. Don't do this. This isn't like the time you helped that doll escape. If you don't kill them, we're both dead. Mao, you, me, and Huang, what have we become? Puppets doing the Syndicate's bidding? Don't be stupid. He's not even in the same league as us. He's not a contractor. It doesn't matter if he's a contractor or if he's a human. How many times has he saved our lives? Huang, look. Talk to the Syndicate. Let them know that we got her out. She's not going to be leaking information. There's no need to it's kill her. It's not that anymore. simple. It's my punishment, hey? What punishment? For me screwing up by sending that specter. They knew about us, and me and Shioko had a relationship before. That's why they gave me the order to kill her. In that case, run away. What the? You and her together. What are you, crazy? There's no way we could escape. If we tried, they'd go after you too. But that's not your concern, Wong. It's mine. Well, it's a concern of mine. Count me out. I didn't hear any of this. There's no way it would work. Even if we could escape, I'm a contractor. And soon, all the human emotions I feel right now will fade away. Not a problem. Because I've been hanging around contractors for a long time now. So long, in fact, that sometimes I can't tell the difference between me and them. Let's do it. Me and you. Go on ahead. Hayes there waiting. Stay with him while I make some arrangements. I'll be back soon, sweetie. Hmm? Now what's wrong? 
got nothing. It's strange. The human emotions I feel are normally gone by now. They're not. I actually feel happy. Is that possible? Contractors are still people. Why not? I guess you're right. There's a ship docked at the South Wharf. It's leaving in a few minutes. We don't want to miss it. Gus? She just came running out of nowhere. Shilko! No, stay with me. Shilko. They were on to you, Huang. She must have realized that they would have killed you had she lived. This can't be happening. It's not right, hey. Contractor wouldn't sacrifice herself for someone else. You did it again, sweetie. That's twice you broke my heart. Kuno? Kuno? Huh? Are you okay? You were staring off into space. I'm fine. I must have been daydreaming or something. <laughs> You're not drunk by any chance, are you? If only I could be, Shizuka. 